The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour, and we're looking at the Dow on this Wednesday, the 14th, Fed Speak Day, minus 89. At, oh, I keep having a problem here. You, I don't think you see the problem, but I do see the problem. Uh, down 88. At 34,124. So let me just go through this in the Chapman Wave methodology. When you get a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode, it is really unusual not to get to a leg D, especially if you're over, if you're above the highs on the left side. And in this particular instance, uh, let me just see if there's an, an issue here. Yeah, in this particular instance, oh, you are seeing the charts the way I'm seeing them. Um, hopefully, that's that's going to change. Hey. So well, let me just explain what's going on here. It's going to be real tough for me. Um, the way I connect when I'm out the office is through my PC. For 20-something years, I've used it wherever I've been in the world. It's been fantastic. Over the last six months, there's some strange thing going on. I don't know whether it's my computer, whether it's from them. Or I, I think it's an energy situation. In other words, there's not enough energy to blow the chart up. It was earlier on. The full chart, I can see everything. The daily week, this is the daily on the left, the weekly in the middle. On the right is the monthly. I can't actually stretch this out because I lose it, it, it opens out so the whole thing expands and then I lose the whole bottom part. Um, it was perfect a little earlier on and then it suddenly changed. It just diminishes and that's what you can see now in the, uh, if I'm correct, yep, that's what you can see. And so I'm going to do this. I'll go on with everything at the break. I will try to connect through. I always have these different mediums. I'll, I'll, I'll use some other way of connecting um, <clears throat> other than the Verizon card that I have when I'm traveling. So let's just go on. So basically what we're looking at in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're expecting a leg D. There's no other way I can count this. Here's your low at 32,586 in the down the 25th of May. Peak A is your first peak. One penny above starts. Leg B, that's a floating letter until it makes a peak. It made a peak right there in that big spike up. Pulls back for one, two, three. The fourth session, it goes to a higher high. That starts a floating there to C, C's the next bar, C's the next bar, <clears throat> 34,310. 34, 34, Yesterday it makes <clears throat> a higher peak, goes to 3431. That starts leg D in the weekly. <clears throat> and as it stands, in fact, it's even a leg B in the monthly because if I'm correct, let me see if I can measure this right here. Uh, I've got 34,334.70. Uh, just missed it. Um, and yesterday's high was three, oh, 34,334. Yeah, 334,310. Three, just missed making anything that goes over that level there starts a gray leg B. Uh, still great because the MACD in the monthly chart is not yet positive. The stochastic still um, under 80% is 69. So this is going to be very important for me because regardless of what the Fed does, and I have to tell you, when I go back and I, I, I haven't got the record in front of me, I did have it at some point. I don't know where I put it, one of the charts, where I just made a notation of where the Fed is. It's like it's like the full moon. You know how everybody talks about the market changes on a full moon. You know, when you go back and you look at the chart, yes, they are occasionally absolutely on the dot. You can get a turn. And the same with the Fed. But the majority of the time, the market has an independent way of looking at tops and bottoms. It could be a bottoming or a topping mode, but you haven't got the turn yet. So as I'm looking at this right now, there should be, 
In the traditional chapter weave methodology, a leg D above 34,110. If today we go above 34,110, all that does is it extends this floating letter C to continue leg C, not a peak C. Okay, got that. The S and P. I'm going to take a little time over this because it's really important because uh, we are long and I'm all ready to switch to the short side, but I'm not going to short, switch to the short side until I have absolute evidence that uh, we are making a turn that is going to be on the daily at least a sell signal that could go to a sell mode. We haven't even got the turn yet. It's still in the buy mode. And here we have an alternate count. Why? Because in the Chapman methodology at a peak D, that is where within three sessions you can get an, a, a technique that I call the Chapman instant restart. What does that mean? It means that not only do you get your alphabet continuing sequentially, D, E, F, G, there's never an H, but at G, you can say that's a, a parallel count called G slash C, meaning that instant restart is giving you a brand new buy signal to buy mode, especially if the technicals, which they are, they are fantastic. Only the unbalanced volume is extremely overbought, meaning just on a daily basis, you can have a pullback. Uh, look at the stochastic at 96.58. I have to tell you, this, the Fed is just whatever the market doesn't like about what the Fed says. It's going to be a smash to the downside to get this green nine-period exponential moving average, which is at the 43.10 level, to, to cross under the 42.81 14-period exponential moving average because you'd have to go down to around about 42.20 to see the, a move down. 42.20, I mean, that's a, that's a huge move to the downside. So as I'm anticipating it, I think it's going to be a process, and that process starts – by looking at the, these counts. So in the even in the QQQ, gosh, I wish I had that full chart. It doesn't matter. This is what we've got. Within three bars, we gapped up and made a new leg E, which is E slash A, F slash B, and now you've got your G slash C, which even extended higher today. Oh, I just didn't I didn't see that. In the Dow. In the Dow, yeah, this is a peak C if there's no new high. But in the S and P you went to a higher high today. You've extended that. Look, here it is. You've extended the same leg in the <clears throat> in the QQQ index 100. And you've got this. I don't want to br bring it out just right now. Maybe after the break, if I can restart and just get everything set up, it'll come back. But look, here's the QQQ. Um, and it's got that level at the 370-something, 72 area, I think it is, that is the left side, right side price time match. And that has all the way till uh, the week of the 14th of July to get to that level. And that's the chap wave inside wedge target resistance thumb. There's dash green line, green because it's going up, pink when it's going down. And it, it went right through the resistance line this week. For two weeks, it was at the resistance line. So we'll see what happens there. IWM, now this is fascinating. Look, the IWM is weak. It's unchanged right now. Uh, 187.96. It's, it's coming off the intraday high, which is at uh, right there. So the intraday high, if I can see there. Oh, this, this. In the break, I'm going to try to. Should I do that? Should I take the chance? I'll take the chance. In the break, I'm going to try to use the connection. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I just for a moment, I had the chart. It was just a full screen, and now it's not. So that's a shame. All right. So gold is up 12, waiting for the Fed. This is always very interesting, uh, waiting for the Fed. Um, gold could do anything, but gold is – look at this weekly chart. This is just saying it's trying to form a base here. It's trading for four weeks now underneath the 14-period moving average. This is the weekly chart. The green nine-period moving average has not yet crossed negative. It's very close to doing it, but it could deflect higher. We'll be watching that very closely. Uh, silver, all right, at this particular point is silver is, and I'm going to try to get to the FXI. I was asked about it yesterday. I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, I won't be able to get a full chart. I don't know why this happens. I haven't figured it out yet. I just changed to a different service in the break as a connection, uh, and it worked. It held beautifully. It just doesn't hold it in that full spectrum so the charts are shrunk and, uh, and now i'm looking at silver which has had a nice move up it's up 0.30 at 24.10 look in the weekly chart it's gone above it's deflecting higher it's gone above the 14 period moving average and the and the green nine period moving average hasn't crossed negative yet even though the magd is weak the stochastic week on balance volumes week we haven't got that crossover we're watching this very, this is going to be such an important session not just the session itself, it needs to have follow through. So I'm talking about going into maybe Monday. Oh, Monday's a holiday. Oh, Monday's a holiday. So going into Tuesday, I did not realize that. Now, what we're looking at is until I heard uh, Tommy speak about it a moment ago in his show. So look at this platinum is pulling back very sharply. We've spoken about this recently. 
because it may right if I've still got the notation yet. Let me just check. Yes, it made the one to one to the downside. I said it's it's in a weak it's in a weak mode at this particular point, together with the other metals. Now talk about the metals. Let's go to the to the, the dollars rallying and let, sorry, the gold is rallying, but let's look at the dollar. And the dollar is Yes, I did. Uh, the dollar is down sharply, down 50 cents or 50 ticks at 102.80. Look at this M-shaped pattern. Oh, you can't see it. So now you can. Look, M-shaped pattern in the weekly chart. We had that in gold. Let me just show you again. I actually had to go to the GDX to show you something very interesting. So the GDX has made a cup formation. It's pulled back from a G slash C quite sharply. That's the gold miners. But if you look at the, the daily chart, it's just stuck in a range. It's bound by 30 to 30 to 30. Let's call it 30 point. At this point, the tighter one is 30.70. But expanding a little bit, I'd say GDX down to 30 should be what we're looking at if there is support that has to hold. So you've got a You've got a really interesting format that we're looking at because the TLT, look how many of these charts are stuck in this range. The TLT is stuck in the range. It's the Lehman 20th Treasury Bond Fund at 101.83, up 61 cents right now. So I needed to show you, I just want to finish the crude oil and then I want you to go to something else. Crude oil is rallying up 66 cents at 70.08, but basically it's been making lower highs and lower lows. And in the weekly chart, you've got this rectangle that has been in. It just snuck out on the downside. This chap when we Roman candle, uh, it's, it's now used up its methodology, which is within two bars. Uh, if there is a trade that goes in a shorter time span, halfway into this long wick, it's a red Chamberway Roman candle, means it opened at a certain level, made a fractional high, and then plummeted and then closed halfway to two-thirds off the low. And that's called Chamberway Roman candle. The, the rule of thumb is, and it works inversely as well, that if there is a move halfway into the wick in a shorter time frame, and it lasts, in, in this case, I'd say it lasts a day because of the weekly chart, or even four or five hours, then there's a really good chance you can retest the low. Well, it didn't. It kept going, but it didn't break above. So this is just trapped in a range. So crude oil is stuck. Now, FXI was a question I got yesterday. I didn't see it until the show ended. The FXI is rallying. It's in leg C, and I can't remember what the uh, story was, if uh, uh, TG had gone to the long side or not. But uh, this is acting well. And you've got the yes, your rotation. Um, you've got you had the Dow over the last week and a half, and the S and P, especially the 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 tech sector, moving sharply higher. Um, and the the uh, Japanese. So this is the FXI. This is the China large cap ETF. Did follow the pattern. Not all of the uh, stocks in the China index, at, at least the ones that like BABA. Let me just go to BABA, B-A-B-A. -B -A. Oops, don't type it there. Type it over here. B-A-B-A. -A. Mm -mm. Followed through. Oh, yes, they did. Okay, they did. So, the, but oh, that's right. I remember now. I said that Baba Alibaba, that this making lower lows and lower highs, something really important in the weekly chart has to happen to make a change of direction. That means that the pink nine period moving average needs to turn green as it goes over the black fourteen period moving average. So that that's a lot of work to do. And the same thing goes for the monthly chart. Uh, what was the, oh Tesla? Let me just go through some of the other stocks that I, I was asked about. Tesla. <clears throat> Now it's gone. You remember I say keep a parallel wave count, uh, especially after the uh, there's, if there's a chance of a, an instant restart. You can never go to an H. So the GCSC says, finally, you've got – this is what I'm, I wanted to point out, that so many of these indexes and key stocks are right at a point where this is exactly where you would expect – uh, some kind of a digestive mode in the daily charts. The weekly charts are still very strong, so we have to go one step at a time. So the daily chart here says, look, the MACD hasn't even given a blink, and just a, not even a, a, a whistle to say, I'm, I'm coming down. Look at that green nine-period exponential moving average. 
absolutely almost a straight line to the upside. To get that to turn down, it'll take either weeks or a just a smash to the downside. Maybe, uh, maybe Tesla, whatever the news is, goes from two fifty nine right now up a dollar twenty five to two ten. Actually, it really would be two o eight, and it does it in days. And then you're going to get a really vicious. If that does it, there are going to be other areas that do, that do this as well. So now I want you to look at Nvidia just as clues. Nvidia trading up. Again today, up five at four fifteen point oh six. Um, this is a leg, not quite a leg F yet in the E mini. But look what's happened. Finally, you're getting a test of the left side high. Look at the number of bars since the gap up on the that news related that night. It was a Wednesday night, I think. Um, news that was absolutely spectacular. And the next day, Nvidia, NVDA. Gaps up to 394.80 with a low of 366.35. My thinking was that coming June, that there will be a test of this gap to the downside. But actually what it's doing right now is spectacular. The MACD is the, it narrowing in the distance between the 9 and the 14 period. It did uh, deflect to the upside just a little bit. The stochastics at 81 percent is tough. It's strong, but you would expect it to be strong to on balance one. It's just give to the area where it's getting a little bit um, a little bit over. This is spectacular action. This AMT has been going out to the break. AMT was up sharply. Now it's pulled back a little bit. And it's up one at one piece. We'll talk about this when we get back. You can see I Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. I actually had this working perfectly a moment ago, and then all of a sudden it went back to this. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure it's a, a, an issue of power. It's not, it's not holding. There's something that's happening where it's not holding this, the uh, picture. Uh, I mean, when I say power, I mean uh, if it needs X amount of whatever it is, it's not getting it. Um, this is a D right here. I'm just doing the notation of the chat wave, unfortunately. Uh, I've got to... Yeah, and there's your E. Just made an E. There's your D going sideways. In the one minute E mini, this is the ESU. <clears throat> I did switch over. So now you've got... You know, you can just f expect a meandering for a while. And as we get closer to the 2, two o'clock, you're going to start to see some real big whippiness. Um, all right, let me, oh, well, I just wanted to show you something else. <clears throat> People always ask me, can you just explain what you're doing in your Chapman Wave methodology? Look how perfect this was. Uh, right here, I drawn in, I switched to the from the June contract to the September, and we were about over there, and I said, oh, I can see this. This is an arch formation, and if I chose this low right here, I could give a left side, right side price time match, as well as I kept it gray, but now I'm going to use what I normally do is I change it to pink, and I change it to dashed line right there right there, and that gives me my target price just about there on this 10-minute E-mini. At about 9.40, it should hit this left side low of the little tiny doji candle clue to turning around of 44.14, and what did it do? It went to 44.13.75. Now, and you'll see that ictus on the on-balance one, look at that beautiful upturn, and now it's got a leg A. A above the previous high. If it didn't take out that by 25 cents, I, I could have called this an F. Now I have no choice but to call it an A. An A can fail in the early morning when you're getting news events, uh, but that ha does happen every once in a while. At this particular point, normally I would say there should be higher highs, peak A, then a peak B, C, and D, and then you can see anything. But in this particular instance, with news pending like this, I think we're just stuck in a trading band. In the meantime, in the meantime, back at the ranch, here we go. Okay. So advanced micro devices. Look at this doji candle in the weekly chart. I, I'm calling this a leg F for now. The MACD is good. Look, the nine is way over the 14, and the price is way over the over the uh, over the nine. The stochastic's flat at 86. That's good. On balance volume, you can see that blue line is getting stretched. It's getting a little overbought. That's the only indicator they use is overbought and oversold. Um, in this particular instance, you're also looking at the, the monthly chart that has gone to a leg C, and you can see the crossover in the 9 period over the 14 period in the MACD. That's the 9 period differential over the 26 period. And the stochastic still slow. Um, well, 59%, it's kind of sluggish. On balance, volume has rallied with the price. So this is just telling us that there's a chance we can call this cup formation a peak F if advanced micro devices, and they've got this new chip that's going to uh, compete against NVIDIA, so I'm watching this very closely because, uh, you know, a stock that goes from the 50s to the 130s in, in a short period of time uh, can give back some. So I'm watching because so far this is good action. This is really good action. Quick, a couple of questions came in. Um, if I just recall because I have I've written them down. Yes. Could, could you look again at the XLF, the financials or the XLF, another new recovery high, not a new high, a recovery high, but this has taken it to a leg B in the weekly chart. I wanted to see that. I said it's really important. So if it wasn't for the Fed today, almost everything I'm looking at says we might be coming – between a little bit and very overbought in some sectors, but you've got the rotation. The rotation says if we can move from the tech sector to the financial sector, and here I'm going to include this is a, a potential 
Jump wave instant restart. Look right here. Let me grab that semi that circle right there. Oh, it's a semicircle right there. And there it is. So now I can say alternative count F slash B, but I am calling it F for now because it just goes sequentially. The 200 period moving 200 period moving average in the daily chart is at 3371. We're just under it right now. We're at 33.48. Um, this is good action. I wanted to see that. And if you put it together with the IAI, I should mention we are along the IAI. Um, another move to the upside, 91.49. <clears throat> That's a long-term core holding from the 45s. Uh, I'm looking at this and saying, wait a minute. This also has a chapter wave instant restart within three bars going to a new recovery high. So this is an alternate count F slash B. And the weekly chart isn't anything close to as good as the XLF, but I want to put the brokers into the same category as the financials. I want to see both of them moving up strongly in the, in some in the summer period. It's going to be very important. And that says now let's just go to the XLK, and the XLK broke out to the upside. This is now you got your finally you got your leg D in the weekly chart. We're always looking for a buy mode to go to at least a D. That's what we're anticipating even in the Dow with Fed news coming up today. So there it is. Uh, the weekly, the monthly chart has this cup formation. Uh, when you think about it and you say to yourself, we've been in a major bear market for a year and a quarter, and yet the XLK is within a hair's breadth of the – I can't see what the price is now. Let me just measure it right this moment i've got a type but it's being covered up so 177.04 was the uh, high back in i think it was december of 21 or january 2022 we're at 171 right now you know we're within six points less than an all time of an all-time high I think that's really good market action. So we've seen tremendous diversity in where what's been favored for the last, at least since the October low. And in this instance, I have to put Shopify into that category. It made its low. Um, let me show you exactly where right here. That was October of last year at 23.63. It's trading now 65.78. 65.80 and it's made a leg E in the weekly chart but if you look at the technicals in this case the MACD has just turned positive the stochastic still at 77% not not yet at 80 there's room to go to the upside and that's what I mean by whatever the Fed does maybe what we're looking at is a rotational correction saying perhaps now we can see a bit of a slowdown in the incremental rise in the tech sector and that would include the semiconductors right here, obviously. SMH trading uh, up 51 cents just under yesterday's high. That was an alternative count D. So you can see how I'm trying to put the package together. It doesn't have to be an instant sell-off or an instant rally. But over the period of going into next week, maybe that's when we start to see the, the rotational correction in the different sectors. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman. I get take this out. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, I, I must uh, apologize for uh, the uh, what's happening. I don't believe this is a train station issue at all. I think this has got nothing to do with train stations. This has to do with, it might be, with my my PC that I have. Uh, it's, uh, it's not accepting the full power of whatever medium I'm using to, to get to it, whether it's the Verizon, Comcast, um, or the actual the other means that I'm using um, and that's it happened in each case so it's I don't believe it's trade station I think this is something different I'll have to call them if I have a chance um, and find out what's going on so it's happened a number of times now and today it's happened yesterday it happened a ton of times and today it's happened uh, at least five times I've, I've re configured everything. So question about INDI, which is, oh, I should know what this is. I've looked at it so many times. INDI is uh, Indy Semiconductor Inc. Uh, doing really nicely. It's up 8 cents, 10.81. Uh, peak peaked D already in the monthly chart. Very quick one. Not very big bars to the upside. Well, they are when you compare it to that it's a single-digit stock. Yes, it's trading very nicely. This weekly chart, uh, stop, and now I've got a slow. I think it has to do with the Internet connection, I'm sure. So this is now gray A and a gray B in the weekly chart. If it goes over that D, then I have an alternate count E slash B if it's in this bar because the low is much lower than the starting point here. And it's a D, a G slash D. Remember, I always type in G slash D. Um, when I've got a, this is not an instant restart, but it was a potential for a peak E right here. It was the same characteristic, but it didn't use the same ingredients. So in other words, don't be slow on me now. Ew, what a day. So there's a brand new A, F slash B, G slash C, and this has gone to a D. You can see why I'm, I'm just a little cautious here. Yes, you can have a massive breakout when the Fed, uh, Fed comes on uh, to the upside because there's nothing to say that you have to turn right here with all the technicals so strong. I am saying that if it does turn down to get the indie 
IND trading at 10.80, up 8 cents, you would have to see a plunge into the 950, below 950. And it needs speed. If it's slow, it will do that. But it needs speed even then to get that green nine-period moving average to turn pink under the 14 period. So look, the, the on bound the daily chart, the on balance volume is overbought. But you've got a flat st st uh, stochastic at 91.53. That is fabulous. That's what you want to see. Flat and holding in the 90% area. At some point, you're going to go from the 95. 91% area down to the 70s or lower, but it hasn't happened yet. And the MACD is still expanding the histogram. That's the distance between the green and the, the red moving averages. And look at this, way above the green 9-period moving average, which is at 10.17, and the black 14-period moving average is at 9.90. And you've had a falling axe formation that has broken out of in the weekly chart, which says it could retest the last high, which was... In the weekly chart, the week of the 3rd of March at 11.12. And the high today is, uh, I can't see it, so I'll have to click on it, 10.85. Uh, Very close. Isn't this fascinating? Uh, next question that I got, uh, let me just check that out here. Get that, get that, uh, yeah. uh, you've been uh, through hack. Uh, you've been through hack every day. Could you just follow up today? Hack is the... Um, this is the um, this is the cybersecurity ETF, Doji Candle. I'm calling this right now as a at a peak F. It could have an alternate count that was an instant restart. It take a little took took a little time to to break to the upside, but also absolutely ready to have a pullback. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Uh, the weekly chart I've been very conservative, calling it an F slash G, but it, uh, sorry a G could be a G slash be right now and and the, the reason why i've got the alternate count is you want to be ready you want to know what to look for the signals that say now you've got to be a little bit careful because you've got an alternate count there's nothing to do right now because everything's working well but just be aware that there's that possibility of an alternate count that's all it does that's all it says <clears throat> so hack is up Seven cents at 50.37. This is the area. If you are in it, you've been long. <clears throat> I would just raise the stop. Normally, I'd say take it a little bit off for security, just for money management. Um, I, it still looks good to me. So if you're taking it, for instance, we have a stock that we, we, we bought a half position in. And then we've taken off uh, little little bits, just you know, little bits off as part of money management. And even today, with the stock up a um, hundred and I think it's about it was way over a hundred percent from when we bought it. With today's action, uh, well, the pre-market action took it to an all-time high, as it's been in the last couple couple of about a week or so. Um, I see it, even though we've taken off. Just money management is take a little fr a fraction off just to, to, to say that you are you are in command of the stock. You are not going to be forfeiting a huge amount if it suddenly gives back a chunk and say, oh, it was an all-time high. I didn't. Yes, even if you've got a little bit less of your core position, that stock itself says it – within days if not hours it wants to keep climbing because people are getting into it that to me is absolutely imperative to, to we, I, I identified that factor a long time ago it just didn't give me a chance to get to add back a bunch that I wanted or even a second position but we will and we, now we know it's a stock that's in play and it'll be in play for a while. It's going to go out of play very soon, I think, for a little bit. And we'll just have to deal with that. Uh, another question came in. What is how are we doing there? Uh, let's see. I just wanted to check to see if I'm able to. Questions that – oh, yes. Uh, it just I, w I want to mention the gen. No, I, I, I'm not calling this a, a trade station issue at all. It's my issue. It's not trade. They, they, that's working just fine. A uh, question about, uh, I'm just, I can, because it's shrunk, even the printing is so tiny, I can barely see it. So I'm seeing uh, for, uh, 
if you have time, well, you look at Indy, and I can't even see who asked the question. I think it was, no, I can't even see. I think it's uh, Duncan Steve. Uh, I'm looking elsewhere. Basil, yep, Tracy, yep, that's working out. Looking at the other aspects, what have we got here? I haven't been able to get the, the picture correct for the camera so that my engineer can do the work, great work he usually does. Well, you have to do great work to get the face to at least be presentable, right? Chop. Yeah, it did. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman. Uh, someone, I, I think uh, it's uh, Steve had mentioned SKYT. SKYT is in the same category. 
Uh, is that right? No, this doesn't look the same category. 960 down uh, two cents. No, the chart doesn't look the same. So in the meantime, okay, so back at the ranch, we've got just a few minutes to go. And then 11 o'clock uh, news comes up. And then we've got two hours, three hours. <clears throat> Fed speak. Regardless, let's just go through this again. One thing at a time. In this methodology, you anticipate that there should be four higher peaks. Once you've got the stochastic over 80%, here it is at 95%. The MACD is really strong. The 9 is way over the 14. Even if there's a sudden smash to the downside, I would anticipate at some point there'll be an attempt that it could go to a C1 and then a C2, meaning that you didn't quite get to D, but all the technicals indicated that it was a possibility the price just didn't make it, and that is the equivalent of a peak D. Very often, you still get the D, but this is what I'm looking at, that this should be the high today is, uh, the high yesterday was 34,010. So I'm saying stand, just if you've got positions, have a little bit of insurance, that's all. Make sure that you, you're protecting yourself. But so far, everything does look very good. I'm going to wrap it up here and say, check out both the call.